Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? Now that the grow room's back up and running, what do you say we get it dialed back in? Only one way to do that, and that's to start a new season. So, what do you think? Is it time? <laughs> All right, let's go. you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs but YouTube is well YouTube when it comes to cannabis despite this we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community if you did want to support the channel a little more the best way to do that is through our patreon with a private discord additional in-depth videos Patreon exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face to face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. So, a big shout out and an official thank you to. We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. All right guys, so as is usually the case for us, on the first episode of every season, we cover our current germination method. So first things first, let's pick out our beans. As most of you know by now, we like the variety that THC Tone Genetics keeps putting out, so we'll stick with him. Recently, he sent us some beans to be used in seasons and for giveaways. Speaking of, we'll be hosting a giveaway for some of his seeds at some point during this season. A strain called Angel Dust, so make sure you stop by for that. Either way, for us, as March is upon us, we figured a festive choice would be some of THC Tone's Lucky Charms. Along with that, we went with a caramel frappe, because that just plain sounds good. Next, it's time to get our pots ready. If you haven't already, go back and watch the first video for this season. We'll link it in the description. It shows exactly how we made our living soil, which contains mostly cocoa, perlite, earthworm castings, and the Green Sunshine Company's earth dust. Our official current ratio is over there, so go take a peek. If you have already seen it, well then, let's keep this thing going. As you probably remember, we stored our base to brew in a large 35 gallon tote. It is recommended that you wait at least two weeks for your living soil to quote unquote brew, so that's what we did. Three gallon fabric pots as always, and we filled them up with the living soil we made in that previous video. In the end, the ratio came to five tablespoons of earth dust base per gallon of medium in your pot. Once that was done, the rest is downhill. Germination has been the same way for us for quite some time. We go to their forever home right off the bat. We do this for two reasons because we achieved much better germination rates than other ways, and any way you stunt an auto, you hurt its yield. And yes, that includes transplant shock. Chances are, if you start out in a solo cup, it's gonna need a transplant to a larger pot by mid or late veg. Once you do, you're taking away the rest of the time that your plant would have otherwise spent growing in veg, and completely stalled progress as it gets used to its new shoes. Either way, people have an opinion one way or another on this. Like we always say, there is no wrong way to grow. So, no worries if you don't agree, and get better yield starting in solo cups. You do you, always and foremost. For us, we dropped the seed at half an inch down and topped her with 60 milliliters of water before generously spraying the top of the soil and inside of the humidity dome, covering it up and putting it in our tent to germinate. As is usually the case for us, our lights are on from the time we put a pot in the tent, always encouraging that taproot to go down 
and the seedling to come up as soon as possible. One other thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the temps are set right. Ideally, seeds seem to like them between 75 and 80 degrees. With our personal experience, finding the higher numbers in that range more effective. One other thing we'll be using is a new heat mat from Mars Hydro. Remember, root zone temp is one of the nine parameters that needs to be balanced to guarantee a healthy grow. Besides that, the cold really does slow these ladies down. So this will combat that, especially with them being on the floor. Lucky for everyone, this run would allow us to show you what it's like, and sometimes things don't go according to plan. For us, it's usually like clockwork. Plant two beans, wait four days, see two new sprouts, like a machine. As we recently had to shut down the tents, we are getting them back dialed in. So this may have accounted for something, but only one has emerged so far, our lucky charms. Of course, it could just be dumb luck. At the end of the day, you're going to have a seed that doesn't pop from time to time. That's all good. We planted another one about two inches over. Although we expect this one to come up, we have yet to see anything at this point, but we'll keep you posted for sure. After all, this is our latest season, right? Of course you know you'll see what happens. That's how we do things. So, one plant didn't come up, no biggie. Happens from time to time. We just plant another and keep going. The lights are good, 375 PPFD, which equates to about 19 K lux. We may dial them down to 300 or 350 PPFD, which would be around 18 K lux, but we're seeing good results right where they are. Plants are praying away. Our updated living soil should carry us longer into the grow. We're hoping four weeks, and things should be off to a pretty stable start for this little one. Sorry this video isn't a huge update, but that does end our footage for this week. We'll be back with another episode next week and hopefully an update on our new Caramel Frappe. Exciting things to come, guys. Can't wait to see how this one turns out. If you can't wait till then, come hang out with us every Friday for our Positivity Livestream right here on YouTube every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.